The University of Bristol is incredibly passionate about responsible innovation. Technology often advances at such a fast pace. So for us, this project was looking at the ethical considerations we need to have when we're looking at two really groundbreaking technologies, that's quantum and virtuality. Of course, in science, we always tell stories about what we're doing, whether we're writing a paper or we're giving a talk, constructing some sort of narrative. But actually, to do that through character, that's something I never thought about before. So in order to do that, we've been working with Kilter to develop two performance pieces. We create immersive theatre productions. We create worlds and we create narrative and character. Participants are taken on a journey of a character's story and we believe that this is a successful way to um, engage the public in these conversations because they are really feeling it, they're really living it. The process during the whole year was as important as the productions at the end. The first thing that we had to grapple with as the, the visiting company was understanding what on earth the research was about. Once we had a little bit of an understanding, we wanted to start to equip the researchers with the tools to uh, scrutinise the ethics of what they were doing and to think how their research was going to unfold potentially in different scenarios. I think that as a researcher sometimes you can be embedded in the familiar, but you should always keep an open mind that people from other fields, completely disparate fields, they have other skills, they have other talents and they have other methods that you can truly learn from. We've just had our first virtual reality workshop here at We The Curious, had a crowded room full of people from all sorts of different backgrounds trying on their VR headsets, some for the first time, some have done it lots before. Um, and then we've had a workshop playing with the timeline, um, people imagining different points in the future, and then coming up with their own applications for um, different, uh, different walks of life, for healthcare, education, law and order, media, environment. It's been fantastic. I learned this evening that VR will change the world for sure, different areas of, of, of our society and culture that might actually be affected by VR that I hadn't considered. I think like from a public engagement point of view it, it's very important to have events like this, like when there is research that is going to have like an impact in our lives. They don't only talk but they listen as well because whatever is going to come out of this research is going to be impacting all of us. Something that was very, very important to us was that the researchers were able to have a dialogue so that the researchers weren't put up on a pedestal as being the experts, that in fact they were equal to the participants and there was a conversation and important dialogue happening about these future applications and the ethics surrounding them. Love, off the shelf with a lifetime's guarantee. Is that not something to celebrate, Professor? Is that not something to celebrate? It is a remarkable yeah. discovery. It, it wasn't actually what we were intending. Was well, this really interesting marriage of art and science is usually two things that you'd expect to live in very different worlds. It's nice to have it explored in a way that's accessible because science isn't something that's accessible to me. It just blew my mind. For me, the highlight of the evening was when one member of the audience started having quite an in-depth discussion with me and I suddenly felt completely out of my depth um, because that was the point where I was actually getting something useful out of it. We don't just want to be hitting the keen people, but we also want to be reaching the people who do not have that background and then we can get a completely different perspective. It's not just a blanket, you know, these are the issues. You know, it, it, basically you felt the emotion as well as just hearing the facts. Grandpa lives on in VR heaven. Theatre is, is a virtual reality in, in its kind of own right. And so this is, you know, the perfect um, forum to talk about this kind of stuff. I 
never really thought about how ethics might be included in virtual reality before. It's a big thing, um, and it's a lot bigger than just playing a game on a headset. I would definitely recommend to any researcher that they should get involved in creative public engagement. I think that it really opens your eyes and broadens your horizon beyond the research that you're doing yourself. And I think that it's also really good for making you and your colleagues grapple with some of the questions that maybe you don't think about in your day-to-day -day job. We've expanded our portfolio. We've shown that we can kind of make this work in many different departments and in many different ways. And um, we've also learned a lot about future technologies. And it's very exciting for us, particularly with the virtual reality, that we've learned about a technology that perhaps could really, really be part of our immersive theatre making process. The impact of the project has been raising awareness both within the institution about the importance of ethics, learning new techniques, but also engaging with those audiences that we've been really fortunate to be able to work with.